Assalamu alaikum. The YMA is pleased to present this instructional video on performing the daily prayers. Although certain aspects of our prayers can vary, this video highlights the essential techniques. Inshallah, this will be beneficial and we encourage you to share this video with others. It is stated in the Holy Quran, seek assistance through patience and salah. Prayer not only strengthens the spirit, it enhances one's overall being. Routinely performing the daily prayers builds self-discipline, awareness, and closeness to God. This provides luminescence, lighting the straight path, and thereby allowing one to remain focused and adherent to our faith. In this video, three main fundamentals of prayer will be covered. Evolution, the call to prayer, and performing the prayer. The purpose of evolution is to purify oneself before prayer. Before performing this evolution, the body must be clean and the water must be pure, and taken with permission if needed. Also, there must be the intention to perform this evolution. Begin the evolution by making your intention known. The intention is required before making your evolution. Say, I intend to perform evolution seeking closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First, the face is wiped with a handful of water. The right hand, extending from the thumb to the middle finger, is moved downward from the top of the forehead to the bottom of the chin. No upward motion. Next. Use the left hand to wipe the right arm from just above the elbow down to the fingertips in a downward only motion. Perform the same with the right hand to wipe the left arm. Without taking any additional water, use three joint fingers to wipe the scalp's front quarter of the head. Finally, with both feet on the ground, touch the bottom of the right palm to the tip of the right foot. Wipe from the toe to the ankle. Repeat with the left hand on the left foot. Now that evolution has been complete, the adhan, or the call to prayer, is recited. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله أشهد أن عليا ولي الله أشهد أن حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على حي على خير العمل حي على خير العمل الله أنك 
أكبر الله The call to prayer has been made and prayer can now begin. Before you begin, understand the following. The daily prayers revolve around the phases of the sun. The morning prayer consists of two cycles. The afternoon prayers are two separate prayers, each consisting of four cycles. And the evening prayers are two prayers, one consisting of three cycles and the other consisting of four cycles. Each daily prayer consists of a number of cycles. A cycle can be broken down into three main positions, standing, bowing, and prostration. The first position is standing upright. As you can see, the brother has his hands at his side. While facing straight ahead, your eyes should be focused on the sajda. The second position is the bow. The back remains straight while facing the sajda. And you can see in this picture that the palms remain on the knees. The final position is the prostration. Seven parts of the body should be touching the ground. The large toe must be straight and not curled. The knees, the palms of the hand, should also be touching the ground. Your forehead, as you can see in the picture, should be touching the sajda. And please note that the sajda should be performed on earth and on those things which are not edible nor worn, including things that grow from the earth for example, wood and leaves from trees. Kunut is highly recommended in the second cycle. Hands should be at face level, facing upward. The prayer direction is the closest distance from the current position to the Kaaba in Mecca. Refer to resources for exact directions of prayer in your area. We are now ready to begin prayer. A full prayer of four cycles will be demonstrated, preceded by the ikama, or the second call to prayer. The ikama is recited more quickly, read in a more monotone fashion, and is recited before every prayer compared to the adhan, which is recited only at the ansa of prayer. The demonstrated prayers will consist of the mandatory acts of prayer, as well as highly recommended acts such as kunut. It is important to keep in mind that correct posture and pronunciation are essential. If you do not speak the Arabic language, pronounce your prayer to the best of your ability, with practice, pronunciation,